how can the voluntary guidelines be used? Okay. Um, first of all, they are very relevant to, to local communities and especially the fisher folk um, uh, because they are intended to protect their, their rights, their legitimate, their, their um, customary rights to, to land and, and, and water. Uh, of course, for the fisher folk, land and water are inseparable. You can't separate the two. Um, how they can be used specifically? The first step is to, to disseminate the guidelines, to, to make them known to, to the local communities for whom they are intended to, to benefit. So if we could um, find a way of making sure that all the, um, the affected communities first of all, have access to these guidelines, probably through their representative um, civil society groups. So they have access to the, to the guidelines. Then step two is to help them understand the guidelines. Uh, we can maybe hold, work, uh, hold workshops at the national level to explain the guidelines and what is it in there for them and how can they make good use of the guidelines. Um, another step would be to monitor the implementation of the guidelines. Um, I'm sure if we made good use of the civil society groups and, and the different um, uh, movements, so maybe the fisher folk, the farmers, the pastoralists, you know, the guidelines, together in touch with their national governments, they can, you know, keep monitoring step by step to see how are the guidelines being implemented and what are the, um, uh, the, the effects or the impact of the guidelines at the end of it all. And they can be required to report together with their governments to report on the progress of the implementation of the guidelines and the, whether the intended objectives are being achieved and what is the impact the, to the local people. Yeah, because to me it would, um, uh, it would not uh, be helpful if the guidelines are just another piece of paper somewhere in the cupboard. So we need to make good use of them and to monitor their implementation. Yes. And I think um, local communities, if they're empowered, they can do this very effectively. Yeah.